But guys, what's going on? Right, I've reviewed a lot of things when it comes to keyboards, gaming mice, gaming headsets, gaming peripherals in a genre. The one company I've never had the chance to work with or anything or work with any of their products is Razer. Now, I know a lot of creators out there, a lot of my friends literally swear by Razer, but me personally, I've never tried their products. I've never used them. I've never tested them out, nothing. So I thought maybe it's time to actually give them a go and see what they're all about. So I decided to take a look at the Basilisk, Basilisk X Hyperspeed Gaming Mouse. Today we're looking at the Windows 10 Pro OEM CD key. So what we need to do from here is go down below and actually type by now. From here, we have promotion code. Now, if you type in the code SKJT, which is SKJT, and click on apply. So straight away, you have now reduced your price down from 15 pounds and 63 pence to 11 pounds and 72 pence. Now I'm gonna use PayPal because it's what I use every day. So I'll be back in a minute. Right, so as you can see from the screen, my purchase being confirmed, I've got my order number, it's going to send us back to the user center and then we can carry on the process from there and see where to go next. So what we need to do from here is go to the right where it says review keys and codes, click on that. Now on the bottom here we do have a little yellow tab that says get the key, so I'm going to click it. Mine's going to be blurred out, but yours won't be. So there we go, we've got the, th we've got the two different keys there, we've got number, which is just your order number, you don't need to worry about that one, and then you've got your code slash card, which is the key you actually need for Windows 10. So what we're going to do is actually highlight this, click on Control C or right click and copy, then we need to go over the settings and actually activate this, so click settings, open the top left hand corner, type in activation, and then activation settings, from here it says change product key, now if I click on change product key, Control V and there's the order number there. So what you need to do is paste your order number in there, click on next. Windows is actually gonna to check to make sure it's a genuine key. If it's not, it won't accept it. But some of the comments I got on some of the previous videos, this can be a free update to Windows 11 as well. So if you don't have this, you don't have to worry about anything else. You'll be able to upgrade for free to Windows 11 as well as. So now we've had a look at Windows 10 Pro OEM key. I've got one more thing I want to show you. Now this is the Windows 10 Pro OEM key and Office 2016 Professional Plus. Now, as we can see on the right hand side, it was reduced from £327.78 down to £40.21, but I've got a cheeky little discount for you as well. Now on the bottom here, promotion codes, SKJT. SKJT will also be in the description just in case, so click on apply, and it goes from £40.21 down to £30.16. So here we have it, we have the Basilix X Hyperseed, uh, Hyperspeed, should I say, uh, Razer mouse. Now, I'm not massively into Razer products. I've just never really owned them, so I don't know a huge amount a huge amount about them. Uh, I'm more into you know the likes of Logitech and all that good stuff. But I thought I'd give it a go. There's been a lot of hype about them. I know this is a little bit of an older version, but you know I wanted to roughly see what it was all about. So starting off with that with Bluetooth, we've got advanced optical sensor, true to over sixteen thousand DPI, five G, and this is hyperspeed wireless technology. Now we have a bit with our bottom, which is uh, ultra long battery life. So I believe these are battery powered so that it's a wireless mouse, obviously, but you put a battery like a double A battery in it. So we have the Razer mechanical uh, mouse switches as well as the onboard DPI storage. So it does come with an app. So when you do upload it into your computer, it prompts you to download an app. Now we have a bit on the back. So we have a uh, Razer mechanical um, Razer mechanical mouse switches for durability up to 50 million clicks. We have Razer Advanced 5G optical sensors for cutting edge precision. We have onboard DPI storage, uh, storage for personalized settings wherever you go. And then we also have the ultra long battery life. This uh, So one battery should last you around about 450 hours. So that alone is pretty cool. And then we also have the ultra fast hyper speed wireless technology, uh, faster than wired gaming. So let's get this unbox to see what all the hype is about. There was a battery here, but don't worry, I've actually taken that out. Uh, it's at the side of me just now. So what do we get? So first of all, we do have a little, uh, like a see-through little note here, and it's to do with unleash the true potential. So it's a little note from uh, the CEO founder, CEO and creator director, uh, Min, I'm not even sure what his name is. Uh, then we also have quite an extensive user manual here. That, oh, and some stickers. Oh, I didn't realize that. 
So it's just going to pretty much tell you everything there is to know about the mouse. You know, all the different settings, where the battery goes, where the USB port is, all that good stuff about the sensor. And that's what we get here. And this is the mouse. So this is the mouse we're looking at. Like I said, this is the Basilisk X Hyperspeed mouse. So this is an all black mouse. It's got virtually no color on whatsoever and no RGB. So this is as, as I wouldn't say as simple. It's as plain as it pretty much can get. So just on the bottom here, we do have all of its information that's telling you about the Bluetooth and all product management codes and all that good stuff. And then we also have off mode, 2.4 gig mode or Bluetooth mode. So it depends what you want, whether 2.4 or 5 gig, depending on what your device can actually handle. Some devices can handle 5G, some can only handle 2.4. So mouse itself, we have basic right and left clickers as well as quite a sturdy um, a rubber scroll wheel which does also have a click button as well. We have our main DPI switch here with a little LED indicator, which does light up green when the device is turned on. And then we also have the Razer logo in very black etching. You can just see it there, which is relatively quite nice and stealthy. The roughly design is obviously all plastic. You've got more of a matte brush design on the outskirts as well as you do have some gloss black on the inside. Uh, giving it that little bit of a better look now the mouse itself on the on the thumb on the thumb trigger where your thumb will actually sit is actually rubber it is like a rubber or a silicon composite just to allow for that extra comfort same with the opposite side of the mouse as well so that's going to allow you to be able to grip on the mouse quite nicely without actually your hand slipping off but on this side also we do have obviously traditionally the front uh the forward and back buttons or they can be reprogrammed in the app that you do get when you plug this into your device which is pretty cool so you can reprogram this to however you want now on the back here there is a little panel so if i pop this off this little panel is just held on with three little screws there but the screws are actually attached onto three little magnets as we can see going on in there and then inside here is where the double a battery will go and this is the little 2.4 gig uh little receiver so i'm just going to quickly grab the battery so this is the battery you ship with this is an energizer max nothing special just a simple battery that just goes in there the back just simply goes back into the corner and clicks back on and then as we can see there got a little indicator going on and it's pretty much trying to search for the bluetooth device or if you go over to the bt side of it you don't need to use the dongle you just pop it straight onto a bluetooth device and you are good to go so relatively, I have to admit, Razer products aren't exactly my forte. I've never really had many of them. I reviewed a few of them, but I don't really use them. And I don't know if that's just personal preference or I just prefer different products. I'm not a massive fan. But that doesn't mean that they are bad products. Obviously, there is thousands and thousands of gamers and creators out there that seriously swear by Razer's products. So I can't say much from that point of view. If I might give it a go, I might use it for a little while to see roughly what it's all about, but we'll go from there. Now, on the bottom here, we do have four individual uh, mats here, which is going to allow you, so when you are actually using the mouse on, not on a surface like this, more of a, a mouse mat surface, it's going to give you more of a smoother glide, which is nice to see. And then they have went for more of a pointed design for the actual mouse itself, which is actually quite sharp. So if you do get angry, don't start sticking this in your friends. But overall, I have to admit, I do actually quite enjoy the mouse. If you guys do have any questions regarding the mouse, like I said, all links will be in the description. But if you've got any questions about it, like how to connect it or anything like that or issues, drop them down in the comments section below. I'm, I'm more than happy to help. So guys, there we have it. That was the review regarding this mouse. Now, I've never, never used Razer products before. And unfortunately, I've yet to use this. I've only used it during the video. Um, I am going to spend a few days testing it out, seeing what it's roughly like, seeing if it is uh, a big of a hype as everybody says it is. Uh, I will be going into that a little bit. I'm going to test it out on the computer and the laptop, bit of gaming, bit of editing, you know, try it out. But overall, it looks really good. And I like the matter of fact, it takes a single AA battery, 450 hours of light time. That's something I did enjoy. And I quite like the blackout. I quite like that the only RGB or LED or anything on it is that little green indicator that tells you whether you're connected or not. I think, to my personal opinion, I enjoyed that aspect of it. Uh, and it's definitely going to be interesting to see what it can do up to 16,000 DPI. I don't think I'll even get anywhere close to that because I run normally 25 to 3,000. Um, so it should be interesting. But if you do want to go check one out for yourself, head down to the links in the description. There'll be a link there. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any further videos. And as always, have a great day.